You can now get a building materials loan at competitive interest rates. All you need to apply is a ZNBS salary account or a stop order account. For details, visit any of our branches. Call us on 0211-228146 or 230896 or email mortgage at zmbs.co.zm. Or you can visit our website on www.zmbs.co.zm. Like us on Facebook or follow us on Twitter. Terms and conditions apply. Zambia National Building Society. Shelter through savings. Shared over fruit top fruit juice squash. Nothing fruit top to with the real fruit in every drop. Victoria Kayeye. Darius Sonia. The name is Wensa Mavor, and this is Diamond Media. Trident Limited, a subsidiary of First Quantum Minerals Limited. The discussion point among many political stakeholders is the fate of the Kabushi and Kwacha parliamentary by elections. With all the legal battles surrounding these two constituencies, the question is whether the by elections will ever take place. Zambia indeed is a democracy with a functioning constitution, which is the supreme law of the land. To the uninitiated, all Zambians are commanded to respect the constitution by and by disobeying inferior legislation. Therefore, the debate is centered on the legal gymnastics surrounding issues on this constitution. One day, one can be in the High Court and the other appeal to the Constitutional Court for either interpretation and so on. The matter only to end up in the lower court back again. This evening, we discuss constitutionalism, the electoral process and indeed governance under the New Dawn government. Good evening. This is Diamond Television. My name is Costa Mwansa. Welcome to Costa. Constitutionalism in Zambia. The question, Zambia's constitution, good or bad? My guest, McDonald Chipenzi, Gears Executive Director as well as Electoral Expert. Good evening and welcome to Costa. Uh, good evening, Costa. 
and uh, good evening viewers. Thank you so much for hosting me. This, I think this is the second time since Costa was introduced. Thank you so much. I Remember that say since you were born. <laughs> <laughs> Remember that we're live on the Airtel TV app as well as on Facebook at Diamond TV Zambia. Follow the live tweets, our Twitter handle at Diamond TV. Let's just jump straight into it. After all the drama going back and forth into the court, the ECZ throwing out, you know, nominations of Honorable Bowman, you know, Lusambu and Joe Malanji in Kabushi and Kwacha respectively. Can we say that we have serious gaps in our constitution? Uh, it's a very difficult question um, because some of the gaps are self-created. Mm. Some of the gaps, yes, they are there in the Constitution. But because of our, perhaps, lack of patriotism to this nation and to our own supreme law, you have people who are misinterpreting, counter-misinterpreting the Constitution. For me, when I look at this Constitution, mind you, Costa, uh, I've been in the kitchen cooking this constitution, <clears throat> watching those who are cooking this constitution and raising issues, scrutinizing issues as they were cooking this constitution. So I do understand how this constitution came about, what were the lacunas, the, defic the deficits in this constitution. The gaps could be there and could not be many, but the, ch the challenge is our own people who go out there to interpret the law, those who go there to defend the law, those who go there to argue the law, I believe those are the main people who confuse the Constitution. Are you saying, Mr. Chipenzi, tonight that the problem lies with the judiciary, more or less the judges and the lawyers? I, I, I can give that blame uh, to a large extent, uh, and I will, I will substantiate this. For example, where you find a learned lawyer saying that the appeals court or courts of appeal has no jurisdictions over appeals from the, the high court. And yet it's in white and black in Article 131 that anything that comes from the, from the, high, <coughs> from the high court can either go to the uh, appeals court, to the constitutional court, and so on and so on. Then here is a lawyer and takes that case to court. To argue that you, as, a, as, 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 as courts of appeal, you don't have jurisdiction. And yet it's in the, in the, in the constitution, the same constitution that people are reading. Mm -hmm. So those are the confusions that we see. And for you to, for the judge now to start sitting and handle that issue that is straightforward, it will take hours, it will take days. I'm happy that you take cognizance of the fact that you've been part of you know this you know crafting process mm. i mean that has been unwinding mm. now you know the last you know three decades we've still been talking the same song yeah. Yeah. a constitution that will stand you yeah, know a yeah, test so, of time yeah. but let's go back just to 20 you know 16. Mm. one of the key mischiefs we we're trying to cure the lacuna was around issues of expensive by-elections mm. among them presidential by-elections mm. hence in the amendment number two of 2016, mm. we brought in the aspects of a presidential running mate. Correct. That cured so well. Yeah. Aspects of crossing the floor, the floor of the House and yeah. subsequently causing a by-election mm. is again something we're trying to do away mm. with, to say mm. by-elections were costly. Mm. And we came up with this so-called Article 52, mm. 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 <laughs> which mm. goes on 52-1 all the way till 6 then after the, the amendment was made in 2016, the PF through President Lungu amended and signed into place this constitution. Then came the NDF and the famous fight of, you know, Bill 10. Yeah. You among them were in very strong rejection and contradiction of this Bill 10. Mm -hmm. With what is happening now around aspects of, say, Article 52 6, mm. don't you regret having thrown out Bill 10? Because those proponents say this is what they were trying to cure. Well, um, for us, our position on Bill 10, especially Article 52, mm. was not to repeal it completely. If you recall, our rejection of that repeal was that Article 52, sub-Article 3, eh? uh, sub-Article 3, gave us the chance to challenge a candidate who is ineligible. 
okay, to contest an election. Now, when if 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 the if the Bill Ten succeeded, it would have it would have meant that no one would have challenged you or me when I want to start, even when I don't have grade twelve. But but it, but it, but in that rejection of Bill Ten, you the opponents to that bill, we're yes. throwing both the baby and the bathwater together. Of course. Are, are, you, are you saying that there was nothing tangible that we could see out of there? The argument, for example, that Article 52.6 mm. mm. was retrogressive. Don't you agree that... Well, actually, actually, if you look at the Article 52.6, mm. it was not retrogressive. Article well, it still 50, stands. Yeah. Yes, it was not retrogressive. Uh, retrogressive. What Article 52.6 was actually trying to, to cure was the fact that in the middle of a nomination, a party loses a candidate, okay, dies in the process, or is disqualified, or resigns from the party and goes somewhere else, then the party should not be disadvantaged. The party should be given another chance to put in a candidate. That was not uh, retrogressive. It was helping the, the parties to grow, the party to participate. However, little did we know that in the process, we shall have comedians. The, humans, the human being came in now, started showing in, especially during this time, where people say, they, they're even proud that if you are pushing me against the wall, I can resign. And basically Imagine. here comes in my question because... The, the whole concept or yeah. rationale behind law formulation Correct. is that there must be a mischief and we're putting in law to Correct. cure that, that, that mischief. Correct. Correct. So why should we then be creating a law that brings about vagueness, a law that is not concise and as clear as day and night? When these, I don't know whether I should call them withdrawals mm -hmm. or resignations, mm -hmm. you know, uh, plagued, this by-election, which now has been suspended by the court, mm. you commented, interesting, and I'd like you to go back to your thoughts mm. in that a withdrawal is not a resignation, yeah. and so the ECZ should not be calling, you know, for, a, um, you know, the suspension of that election. Uh, why is the law, so, why should the Constitution be well, so unclear? Th this is why I said uh, that it is not the Constitution. Mm. Even Article 52 itself is very clear. It is resignation, it is uh, disqualification, and it is death. Three. And how do you resign? Like I said, the spirit behind Article 56 <coughs> was to Article ameliorate... 52, 52, mm. sorry. It is it, to amel ameliorate the suffering, the, 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 the disadvantaged the political party that may suffer maybe multiple deaths of their candidate in an election. So you give them another chance. Death is very clear. Of course. Mm. It is resignation. You resign from where part. You what, don't what, resign. what is the difference between withdrawal and resignation from the legal or rational point of the course, point the lawyers have the argued to say resignation is from a position. Withdrawal is from the process. So, like, if I withdraw from uh, from a process, I have not resigned. I'm did, did, did you, the people, you know, drafting this constitution, think of independence? Because of, an, indep an independent would not resign. No, they will withdraw, mm. and that's why withdrawal is not there. And this is so why an independent d does not have no, the right to withdraw they, they will, in an election. For, for, for me, I, I I raised that issue during the 2021 general election in June, when Madame um, Lumpa. Withdrew and I was going rest. to come that because yes. then precedence automatically yes. is set. They, they I raised it. And even Honorable Mlambe Haimbe uh, did write to the Electoral Commission of Zambia that you cannot call a, a, a fresh elections because of a, 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 an independent that has withdrawn. Because what, 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 has, what has he suffered? What has she suffered? Nothing. But, but the political mm, party will suffer. Mm. And, yeah. and this is why I'm asking then, uh, and I'll keep on referring mm. to the fact that you've been part of this constitution-making process now for True. quite a long time. Mm. Where are we missing it? And, and do we seem to be fronting different political interests? For example, is it the role of the Electoral Commission of Zambia to interpret the law on their own, or basically play a referee in the electoral process and be guided by that which gives them life, the Electoral Process Act. Thank you. Uh, and that is where people miss it. 
the role of the Electoral Commission of Zambia is to apply the law as it is. Okay? And it uses first the Constitution. <coughs> if you read Article 229, which establishes the Electoral Commission of Zambia, it tells you what the commission is, done, is supposed to do to manage the elections. And if you remember, ahead of the 2021 general election, the ECZ was taken to court over the cancellation of campaigns. All right? And the court, the constitutional court, ruled to say the role of the Electoral Commission of Zambia is to manage election. And the cancellation of these campaigns is part of the management of the election. And what, what role did they apply? They applied the constitution. And the constitutional court had to interpret whether the decision of the Electoral Commission of Zambia was correct. And in this case, the Electoral Commission of Zambia did apply the law. But now the interpretation no, is coming but, but, from the but, lawyers. But, but, but applying, applying the law and an interpretation of the law, again, is a very thin, tight or eggshell mm. rope that the ECZ you know, is walking. Mm. Mm. In this case, then, how do we, with hindsight, look at the fact that they go ahead rejecting mm -hmm. the papers of these two candidates mm -hmm. in, in Joe Malanji and mm -hmm. Boma Nusambo. Mm -hmm. And when the two candidates appeal before the court, the court clearly spells itself that a nullification does not amount to disqualification. But look, so in short, you, 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 you cannot say as the EC said that this is what the law says and disqualify no. them. That's not your role. Look, so they, clearly it, from the court ruling, the ECZ is offside. No, no, no. I don't think so. Hmm. The, the, the challenge which I found in that judgment is that the ECZ never talked about nullification. The ECZ talked about creation of a vacancy, which is it talked about under Article 72, sub-Article 4. What created the vacancy? The, what created the, is the decision of the court to nullify the seat. The nullification... No, no, the nullification of... is a result of a decision. So, 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 so who so, is so the, the problem? So, so the vacancy is as a result of the nullification by the court. The, the, the vacancy is as a result of a decision of the court. Which is to nullification. To nullify the, 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 To nullify the election. Exactly. Now, But look, does this amount to disqualifying the candidate? Of course, under Article 72. But the court uh, judges it wrongly. Of, of course, for me, I don't agree with that. But do you disrespect the ruling of no, the court? No, 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 I don't disrespect, but I don't agree. Because why I don't agree is that, look, under Article 72, sub-Article 2, there are th f about five H, uh, A, B, C, D, E, F, H uh, reasons and grounds. One of the grounds... Is that malpractice. Is ma not, is disqualified as a decision, of the as a result of a decision of the court. Mm. Now, what was the decision of the court in the Malangi and in the Lusambo? is to nullify a seat, isn't it? Mm. Because without their decision to nullify the seat, that seat wouldn't have been vacant. But, but Secondly, <coughs> just before that, mm. uh, I finish my thought. Then, again, what caused the nullification? There are two reasons that caused the nullification on both. The, the other one, it was violence, corruption, and other malpractices, okay? And what are those? They are a violation uh, of the electoral code of conduct, a prescribed code of conduct, which is under Article 2, sub uh, Article 72, Two. 2, uh, B, C, 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 somewhere there. So it was because someone violated the code of conduct, never violated, never adhered to the, 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 to the what? But the court conveniently never talked about but, but, Article, but, but, Article but, 72 B. But, but, but you, being both a governance and electoral expert, do understand that with the separation of powers, mm. um, it is the job of the court to interpret and bring life to, 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 to statutes and the law. And again, as governance would have it, judgments, especially of these you know, higher courts, become precedents, and that is what we refer to as case law. So when the courts pass this judgment, it's what we follow suit. Oh, of course, that's why I said you, 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 can, you can respect... Uh, someone and respect the decision of somebody, but you will not agree with that somebody. Mm. Okay, and in this case, we say we respect the. Uh, so the, you're what, saying the courts are offside. For me, with that interpretation, I don't agree that the court would conveniently avoid the 
exact decision they made to cause a by-election. And then say, no, we never, we never nullified. We, ne we, never, we never disqualified anyone. But your decision caused this, uh, this nullification. This, your decision has created a vacancy. And now you are conveniently avoiding that. Who created the the what the uh, the the, the, the vacant? But, 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 but just a second. But, but, credit curve. Uh, exactly, uh, and and I'm happy that you bring that point. Mm. Who should be held offside on this matter? Should it not be the Electoral Commission of Zambia? No, 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 no. Well, yeah, because we need to ask ourselves the yes. question, Mr. Jipenzi. Yes. And you, as a person who follows electoral process, yes. how did the ECZ in the first place manage? to allow Mr. <laughs> Malangi, because there's a due diligence mm, process, mm, mm. to file in his nominations again in, in 2021. Yes. Again, that is where people mis, 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 you know, mislook, if there's that word in English. The ECZ, the Electoral Commission of Zambia, has no role to play with the grade 12. Okay? Why it has no bigger role to play is that you just give me your papers here. Bring. You show me. Oh, but they have uh, to be satisfied. They have yes, to be satisfied by qualifications authority they look at, or the examination yes. council of Zambia. So the examination of the, the examination council of Zambia does verify that this whether results, it's grade twelve or uh, equivalent. whether grade twelve or whatever they verify, they validate. There's even a date stamp there from the electoral uh, from the examination council of Zambia. Say verified. When you bring it to me, it's like an author uh, commission of oath. The moment you put it there, I will look at, oh, you, you have all the results that are required by the Examination uh, Council of Zambia that you have your grade 12. And then I just pass it there, p pass around, mm. and they will say, oh, yeah, he has the grade 12. So, 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 so how so, do you so, blame so, the commission so, now? So just there, Mr. Mr. Chipenzi, mm. and this is why, again, I talk about really finding difficulty mm -hmm. with us Zambians yes. involved in this constitution-making process. Correct. And for the sake of a layman, I, I, I'll not talk legally, but just mm. as a layman. Yes. So imagine Costa Mwansa is applying to be MP. Yes. Right? Mm. One of, so the criteria is that I must be Zambian. Yes. So how do I prove to be Zambian? Yeah. Through an NRC. NRC. Yes. I need that NRC Correct. certified. Correct. I need to be of age. Correct. Which is age... 18, 18 and above. For, for MP, it's 21. 21. I need to have a grade 12 mm -hmm. certificate. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Who certifies that Costa has legal grade 12 documents? It's uh, the Examination Council of Zambia. What else do I need to come with? Uh, I think the, uh, I they, need to they, also they, declare assets, my assets. My, my assets. Yes, 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 yes. So once I do that, I give before... And your card. I give, I present this before... Uh, the Electoral Commission uh, of Zambia. The Electoral Commission of Zambia. Yes. At that point, once I've filed in and I've paid... Yes, your nomination My fee. nomination yes, fees. yes. The constitution says that is it seven days that is given or to, to, to challenge? Somebody may challenge. Yes, yes, yes. What are, what is what is being challenged in that seven days? Once I file in it's my nomination, nomination. With, the, with those papers. What is being challenged there is the nomination. And let me And read what are we it. looking for in the And let me mm. read this one because I think uh, I see a situation where people are bringing an issue, the way withdraw is coming in this thing. <laughs> which is not provided for in the law. And the court have, uh, have, have actually entertained this. It says that as sub uh, Article 52, sub Article 2, it says that a returning officer, uh, no, 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 actually it's, it's saying here, uh, sub Article 4, not Article 2. It says that a person may, eh, before a court or a tribunal, as prescribed, the nomination may challenge the nomination of a candidate within seven days of the close of nomination and the court shall hear the case within 21 days of its lodgement. Very clear. Very clear. Very clear. And nomination. What, and, and what I'm trying to drive at is that for me to qualify for nomination, yes. I need to have a grade 12 certificate or its equivalent. Correct. If somebody suspects that either Costa does not have a proper NRSC is from Congo. He bought, uh, <laughs> he bought an NRSC, yes. or I forged my grade 12, True. or I'm probably below 21. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. That article you've just read gives yeah. chance seven days after that nomination of to challenge the nomination. Of course, of nothing course. of that sort happened with Honorable Malange. Of course, nothing happened, but this, is, as you may see, the, 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 the usage of the word may. You may not, you may. However, there are two 
there are two uh, 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 stages where you can challenge mm. a, 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 a candidate mm. or, 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 or someone who has been uh, no, duly nominated by, by the Electoral Commission of Zambia. There are, two, there are two stages. One at the nomination stage. If you miss the nomination stage, after seven days, you cannot challenge anyone. True. Then the other one is questioning that person. Who has been uh, who has been elected as the winner? I just want you to stop there because at the point of filing in nominations, yes. using Article fifty two fifty two three is yes four fifty two four fifty two four, yes. mm. you can challenge or petition the nomination. Correct. Again, using uh, Article seventy three. Article seventy seventy three. Seventy three about the petition. You can petition the election of somebody. Correct. And this is where you take the matter before the, the court. The court. Yes. To petition. For me, I understand this that the, the petition after the election yeah. basically looks at what transpired during the process. Yes, uh, you can handle both because now is there's precedence yeah, of this issue. There is now the Malangi <laughs> issue. There was also, is it Masauso from Nyimba and from Lundazi, the Keno, Keno Bizwan Kunika's yes. case? He was also challenging a, a, an issue that could have been challenged at the nomination stage. Okay? Or uh, the, the grade 12. Uh, and this is my point. Yes. Mr. Electoral yes. Expert. W w why? Uh, in the manner I'm looking yes, at this yes, constitution, yes, 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 yes. I feel that the rationale was that Article 52. Four mm. allows for the fact that once I file in my credentials yes, yes, and somebody has a problem with my yes, credentials yes, 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 before yes. I even proceed to Correct. the to the election, that was the idea. We, we can cure that. That was the idea. Article seventy three looks at the fact that yes, it's the outcome. Uh, I've been elected. Yes. But probably they could have been fraud, yes. they could have been vote buying, yes. and things like that. Correct. Why should we be looking at grade 12 or qualifications or NRSC after an election? So, Shouldn't that be curtailed yes. before? Yes, of course, that is what is supposed to be done. But the, the, the crafting of the, 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 the wedding there, he said, may. Okay? Which, which means, which gives you an option. But when you go to uh, Article uh, uh, 70, again, it gives you another option. That if you have seen some you know, issues that around the election of somebody. For example, if you think this is, this is a Congolese, or this is a Zimbabwean, mm. or this is later on you discover, maybe in the campaign, someone will bring this Auyu, Wakosta, Congo. Okay? Sure, this is a, you know, this is, you can still use that evidence after the election. Mm. That this person we elected. The challenge that we have, Wakosta, here mm. is that we have a poor vetting system in our country. Mm. The Electoral Commission of Zambia has no time to vet. But just there, uh, one then remains a bit more confused mm. than very clear. Mm. Again, I, this is where I ask, why should our constitution be so grey and not clear as day and night? In the Malangi issue, mm. here are my concerns. Yes. The Electoral Commission of Zambia yes. allowed him to file in Correct. his nominations yes. Without question, no. nobody challenged in no. seven days. No. He went into an election, Correct. won, duly elected. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. He, he's serving the people of, Kabush, of, of, of Kwacha, rather. Yes, yes. And then somebody then legally so files in yes. a petition after his election. Yes. The court who nullified mm -hmm. his election, mm -hmm. caused a vacancy, nullified it on what ground? On, 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 having no, on not having grade 12. <laughs> the, on having no grade 12. Yes. But he was not being given the right to be heard no. as the rules of natural justice to present his credentials. At appeal level. To present his cr credentials. At appeal level. Audi alteram patem, every side has the right to be heard. Correct. That was not given, yes. that's why they've appealed. Yeah. Confusingly so for laymen. Mm. The same court system mm. says, yes, we've nullified your yes. election yes. for Kwacha. Correct. The ECZ interprets this as, Malangi, you've caused a vacancy, yes. hence we cannot get your papers, Correct. but the same court says Malangi are not disqualified. <laughs> now, that's the confusion we are saying now. Who is creating this confusion? Like you have explained, the ECZ in this case was presented with grade 12, which they accepted. That is grade 12. But somewhere in the process, as they were campaigning perhaps, discovered that oh, oh that grade 12, that one presented, could not be correct. Okay? And went to court and the court validated the, 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 the petitioner.
that, yeah, you have a point. This person had no great wealth. Now, one thing that is very, very, you know, uh, uh, gray there is that when the case came into court, in the, in the lower court, to discuss whether you have grade 12 or no grade 12, and to present your grade 12 or not, there was nothing that was presented. And I, I followed so how the, do we arrive the, at a conclusion? The, I, I, I followed the, 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 the cross-examination. The cross-examination was from 81, 82, 83. You were in Form 1, Form 2, Form 3. From there, it's, it's quiet. Is, can, can you tell the court that with this information you have given us, one can be convinced that you had no grade, you didn't go beyond uh, form, form three? Is but, it? But what does the law say? Is it not grade 12 or it's, it's grade equivalent? 12. Yes, it's grade 12 and it's equivalent. Yes. But form three is not equivalent to grade 12. But, but is form three what was submitted? Because, it, it, because no. again, here we need to ask serious yes, questions. Of course. We need to ask serious questions. Yes. We are talking about a member of parliament who has served the yes. people of Kwacha. Yes. Two terms. Yes. So what are we being told by our vetting system in 2016? What are we being told no, in no, 2021? No. In 2016, in 2016, again there was a confusion, <laughs> where the ECZ uh, allowed people with higher qualification, whether you have grade 12 or not grade 12. And let's go to that Nirenda uh, yes. uh, judgment of Ndazi. Even the court. Yes agreed that they had made a mistake but okay. allowed him to continue uh -huh. knowingly so that he did yes. not have the grade 12 exactly. requisite. So that is the problem that we had. So they allowed, then in, in, ahead of 2021, there was an interpretation which says now, a grade 12, the minimum that you Based can... Based on which judgment? Th there was a judgment that, uh, what was the, what was, actually, some, it should be done play or not, not done play. Another person took the, the ECZ to court and the, and the examination council and there were all these... Um, <laughs> Uh, you know, uh, meetings and the briefings where Michael Chirara, the ex Examination Council of Zambia director, explained to say a grade 12 is A, B, C, D. And therefore, I think the court says a grade 12 is a grade 12. There's no like, uh, no, uh, I, have, I have a craft, I have a what. No, you have to present grade 12. Now, the question with uh, Kwacha is that at, 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 at trial stage, surely uh, Mwata Joe Malangi would fail to bring even one of the classmates. Is it that no, but, all the classmates but, but, died but, 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 but or honestly, the teachers died? But, 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 honestly, like, like, but honestly, like you're saying, he was not given the right to be heard. And, 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 and that is the argument, even if you say it was at the appeal stage. Mm. And when you say we've got problems with our vetting, mm. surely do I need a classmate to prove that I've got no, but papers? Someone... Because as I'm... Uh, eh. Surely the, the, the ECZ accepted <laughs> yes. a form of paper. Yes. Do we all take McDonald as my classmate? No, but look, before even the... ECZ was not there to defend him. Huh? Because if ECZ went there with the papers... To say, we have them, they are here. No, but, but, but this is why I'm challenging yeah. and saying the ECZ on this matter have blood. Even who the, who even accepted the... these documents no, for a person to qualify? A, a, accepting for me, I don't blame the ECZ per se. Because ECZ just accepted. So are you saying at this point that if somebody went with fake documents or went with, let's say, Form 4 documents, mm. the job of the ECZ is just to accept? No, no, as long as... E ECZ education verifies that this is equivalent to grade 12. And I'm assuming that, is, and I'm assuming that is so because, you, 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 like you rightfully put yes. it, there's a, there's a, a stamp, stamp of either ZAKA yes. or either ECZ. ECZ. So yes. even if it is Form 4, the ECZ yes. should just collect because... Of course, because that is what the ECZ education have told them that this Form 4 is equivalent to grade 12. So, Verified. So why did the court not, for example, subpoena the certifying authorities. To me, that is where the challenge is. What really happened around uh, John Malange's issue? Because there's no way a person whose results were accepted by the Electoral Commission of Zambia, certified by the Examination Council of Zambia, then later on, the, same, the court says, you don't have grade 12. So, so, so if and the, the job... High court, the, the Supreme Court, the, 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 the Constitutional Court also says it's true. The High Court was on firm ground. So if the job of the ECZ is merely to depend on the interpretation of the law by others, like you say, mm -hmm. the, those that mm -hmm. certify and so mm -hmm. on, I go back to the issue of separation of powers. Mm. When, for example, let's give the, the, the Shimba Kambwili case yes. 
or, or, or others, is it the Teta Mashimba case mm. in, 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 in parliamentary history? Mm. The legislature and the judiciary are too autonomous. Yes. Parliament will just not declare a seat vacant mm. until if the matter has been to court, mm. the judgment is mm -hmm. passed and mm -hmm. Parliament is written to. Mm -hmm. Why in this case was the ECZ so quick in as so far as rejecting the filing in of these candidates? Okay. When you read Article uh, 52, all right, it says that Article 52, sub-Article 2, a returning officer shall immediately on the filing of a nomination paper in accordance with clause <laughs> one, duly reject the nomination uh, paper if the candidate does not meet the qualification, uh, the qualification or procedural requirements specified for election to that office. Okay, immediately. It yeah, doesn't but, have to wait. But does not meet the required qualification. Qualification or procedural requirement. Now, the issue let, of... Let, let us explain yes. what is your understanding of those procedural so, requirements. Re procedural requirements, these are administrative requirements. Where For example, now, let's, ECZ, let's, let's be detailed. Yes, the ECZ said uh, anyone who created a vacancy, okay, will not, will not accept their papers. It's a, a procedural requirement. It's an administrative requirement. Because not all of us who are eligible will be able to be allowed to stand. So now the ECZ put a caveat there, an administrative caveat. And all we needed was to say, they, they were even asking them, are you aware of Article 72, sub-Article 4? Said yes. From there, you, we, we cannot accept your, 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 your papers. That was an It was not interpretation. So, so with that, then it was rejected. Unfortunately, and I've insisted on this one, unfortunately, a rejected denomination cannot be challenged. Article, uh, 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 sub-article 4 says you may challenge a nomination, a duly nomi a nomination, <coughs> not a rejected, a duly reje a reje a rejected nomination. So, when, when, when you see those whose papers have been rejected coming this way, they are basically rewriting. And we are going to but, set but, a very but, wrong precedent. But the confusion if we allow and this. the challenge is, and again, I insist that the Electoral Commission of Zambia is a body, public body, mm -hmm. mandated through the Electoral Process Act. Yeah. But they are subject to obviously the law being provided or interpreted by the courts. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And so. Where does this leave, for example, one Honorable Usambo, because he has not crossed over? And when the court tells him that, yes, you've caused a vacancy, but that does not cause you disqualification, <laughs> where does he run to then? <laughs> if the courts are telling him that and the ECZ are rejecting, you know, this, this who is, is more supreme yes. between the ECZ and the court? And they understand that the Electoral Process Act, uh, Section 4, um, clearly states, if not Section 3, clearly states that for actually. <clears throat> the ECZ shall not be under the direction or control of any person or any subject. Well, at this moment, the judiciary is independent if the, the, the role of the ECZ is to operate within the law. Yeah. The Electoral Process Act, which is subservient to the Supreme Law, yeah. which is the Constitution. Yeah. And so, yes, they're not operating under the directive of anybody, mm. but for them to reject the papers mm. in the premise of Article 72 for, mm. mm. that is through the court decision. Yeah, yeah, of course. The, the court decision is saying... That if so why read, don't they respect the court decision no, the, that the, the, nullification the, the, does not amount to disqualification? <laughs> <laughs> well, of course, nullification does not amount to disqualification. No one argues with that. But is nullification causing a vacancy? Is disqualification causing a vacancy? If these two the net effect is a vacancy, then Article 72.4 is triggered. You've equally written to the Concord and have asked a number of questions surrounding this. Let's just briefly, you know, for the sake of the viewers tonight, um, give an understanding of what you've presented before the court and the questions you're asking, mm. especially around the Constitution. Mm. Well, I, I think uh, uh, for us, we have just gone to court, to the mm. Constitutional Court, to help us understand the issue of withdrawal and the resignation, whether this can be, <coughs> can be synonymous, they mean the same, okay? 
And if they mean the same, does it mean now that a person who withdraws two days to the election can cause a cancellation of an election? Those are the questions that we have posed before, uh, before the Constitutional Court to explain to us, and not only to us, but to the nation. I did raise these arguments prior to the 2021 August yes, elections. Yes, yes. And just like I'm asking you, you know, tonight, mm. is Article 52.6 a clause in good faith, or we should be amending it to strengthen what you said was the initial rationale, especially yeah. for candidates on a party ticket. Exactly. Indeed, from the abuse, from the mischief. So you agree that there's manipulation yes. and abuse. And now it must, Article 52, sub Article 6 must go. I think the goodwill that those who brought in this article during the, you know, the technical committee drafting the new Zambian constitution, the goodwill that they had on political parties seem to have been abused. And the best now, as we are reviewing this constitution, Article 52, sub Article 6 must go. But how come you didn't see that then? Because some of us argued that even with the fact that we've managed to constitutionalize the date of a general election mm. for presidential mm. level, mm. in the same Article 52, yeah. 6, like you're saying, yeah. it can be two days before the presidential election, and somebody decides no, to resign or withdraw. I, 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 and what that means is that they, it's, it's very instructive that the Electoral Commission of Zambia has to call for fresh nominations. Look, and I, I argued, and like happened in the Kabwata yes, case, yes. you have to sub resubmit and pay fresh nominations. Correct. Now, look, also Article 50, the same uh, sub Article 6, uh, 52, 6. 52, 6, it says... Where a candidate dies, resigns, or becomes uh, disqualified in accordance with Article 70, which is the Melanginal Grade 12. Qualifications. 100, which is the presidential issue, and 153, which is the councillors. Or a court disqualifies a candidate for corruption or malpractices after the close of nominations and before. Yes. The election. Yes. The election date. The electoral commission will shall, shall, is mandatory. It's mandatory. It's instructive. For the election and require the filing of fresh nomination by eligible candidates and election should be held within 30 90, days. 30 days. And, now, and, and, and just say that, Mr. Chipezi, yes. that's, that's my concern. Yes. The... the, the proneness of this article to be manipulated by surrogates, yes, where means. political parties are putting independence, correct, like in this case, correct. we're saying an independent cannot resign. Yeah, yes, That's yes. why you're saying you want an interpretation, the difference between withdrawal yeah, and, and resignation. resignation. Exactly, exactly. So my worry is that you, 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 you have a presidential election and have 10 independents. Oh, and each one of these who drew with the five days before <laughs> resigns. Yeah. Five days. But if we understand this thing, it says, after the close, before the elections, there should be 30 days remaining to hold the elections. They will call for fresh nominations and within 30 days the yes, election has to be held. after that fresh nomination. But in, 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 in this case, we have a constitutional date, election date. So what happens now? Like people are now interpreting to say, okay, if we have a constitutional date, a presidential candidate dies two days to what the election. What? Then the elections, uh, the, the presidential election will not be held. Of course, that's what that article is saying. If it is a parliamentary seat, it means that that parliamentary constituency will not be held. Definitely so. Yeah, so there is, there will be, there will be a time when the, the but the, the, the general election will not be cancelled. Because the general election for, for, is here. Look. Yes, I agree with there you. The, 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 there's the presidential, there's the parliamentary, yes. and the local government, yes. and the chairpersons. Yes. Which is so, so in a scenario where a presidential candidate dies, yes. what, what you push forward... Is the presidential election. And the others go ahead. Yes. But my, my concern there is the inconvenience... Of course. ...that... What, what, does, it, what, what yes. does it mean to, yes. to cover fresh and nominations, fresh filing in, yes. fresh paying off? Exactly, campaigns and so on. This is why I agree with you that the mischief that we are trying to, 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 to cure seem to be now the biggest mischief that is now eating But us. here's the more comedy of errors in the 
Kwacha and Kabushi's yes, yes. issue. Yes. The petitioners go to the high court mm -hmm. that grants them a stay on the election. Yes. And so by now we know that the elections which were supposed to have happened on the 15th last week, Thursday, yes, yes. did not take place yes. based on the court stay. Correct. Before the 15th of September, what did we see? Mm. We saw one candidate withdrawing mm. in the Kwacha. Yes. By, in the Kwacha by-election. Correct. Subsequently, that withdrawal resignation, yes. I'm just assuming, yes. if we have to follow the Constitution, would have called for the ECZ to cancel mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and to call for fresh nominations. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So, so, so where are we? Why hasn't that happened? Well, because the court has stayed, somebody has withdrawn. Mm -hmm. So we're supposed to be having the Electoral Commission call off the nominations. No, and that's why we've gone to court on that issue. On the withdrawal, we have gone to why court. Why is the ECZ not acting on the withdrawal? No, they can't act because Why not? it's in court. Why not? It's no in court. We, are, we have gone in court to, for interpretation. The, so same, before they the, go. Sa the same way, why did they not wait for the court to rule uh, before rejecting? No, 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 no. Uh, that, that, that way it could look... look, uh, look no, because, because the petitioners had put in place a matter before the court the same morning. No, no after, after, after nominations. <laughs> no, that one came after nominations. Actually, what moved the court is the decision of the ECZ, not to accept those nominations. And that's why they rushed to court. They were at court maybe assembling there, waiting to hear what the ECZ would have done. And remember, us also, we are waiting. We are also at the door of the court waiting. If they, they get nominated, we go to court. But, but then the ECZ are playing double standards. In the Charity Lumpa case, yes. She withdrew. Yes. They accepted and called for fresh nominations. There was no, there was no court issue against the Lumpa. But, but even in this matter, mm. the, 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 we are dealing with a withdrawal of a separate candidate. Yes. The court matter and the parties involved are the PF, Boman, Chilosha, Lusambo, and Joe Malanji. No. How does, it, how does this affect candidate X, who is not PF, who is within, within his own constitutional no, rights no. withdrawing? We, as gears, yes. we've gone to court mm. to challenge the withdrawal issue of your, uh, Alfred Rombe. So Was the, that before he withdrew or after? After he withdrew. Yeah, but, but, but court case or not, he withdrew, and the law is very clear no, that, but it's and not, very instructive it's not that they should, they should call off an election. Remember, remember Costa in Cabrata. That guy from Cabrata resigned, you know, actually withdrew his nomination, and the ECZ stayed for one week. So, 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 so let's, let's assume this scenario. What would have happened if the court had not stayed the election? It would have gone ahead. And Mr. Yombwe withdrew? Would have petitioned. What, what would have happened? Would have petitioned after the elections if he was uh, aggrieved. <laughs> no, but, 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 but precedence has been set, mm. and definitely the Constitution is very instructive that once one withdraws from this election, mm. the ECZ must call off the election. No, no, no. There is no withdrawal. It's resignation. And those and people, so the ECZ, they never resign. And, and, and they if, never resign. And if you as gears yes. are going to the court to interpret, yeah. why then should ECZ not do their job the same manner in which they interpreted a vacancy. No, 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 no. They can't go now. But no, they're very clear. Because they have been sued. ECZ have been sued under our case. We have sued them. We have sued the Attorney General to interpret this. Can they cancel an election where a candidate has withdrawn? And when withdraw itself is not in the constitution. So you can so also, where, so, you can also so you can also agree, Mr. Spence, that you and Gears are also further fanning the confusion. <laughs> you no, are no, also no, further no, fanning no, 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 the no. what is your interest in fanning this confusion <laughs> in this election? What we want And you've made it blatant to clear yes. from the word go yes. that you believed even outside the court jurisdiction that Honorable Usambu and Malangi were not eligible. Of course they were. They are not. Under Article 72 72.4, they are not. So you're not objectively uh, 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 looking at this matter. You've got a vested no, interest. No, 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 no. Um, uh, what, what, we, what I am you know, interested in is that we have been talking about corruption, Costa, in the electoral process. If there is any uh, 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 sector that is riddled with corruption, is the electoral process. Mm. And therefore, when we are putting Article 72.4, uh, 
when we are talking about, when we are putting section 80, 83 in the Electoral Process Act about corruption, we wanted to read this country of corruption in the electoral process. Now, here is a person who has been found connected to corruption, connected to bribery, connected to malpractices, and then you say you are eligible, go back and start continue doing what you are doing. Are you solving anything? No, we must set, we must put a lesson. We must send a, 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 some, some, some kind of lessons to people that elections should not be merchandised. Elections should not be, you know, you should not buy your way to leadership. Let the people choose you because you are Costa and you are good and you are, a, you are a performer. Once we do that, once that lesson is learned by one or two, we shall be reducing corruption in the electoral process. And that's my interest. With such interpretation and misinterpretation of, sadly, our constitution, mm. What is left for the ordinary Zambian watching out there? It's confusion. I think you Do read, we need to amend you, or completely you, repeal? You, you, you read the imprisonment of Obatala and other plays, and in there, there's a story of Eshu, the confused of men. <laughs> and there was Shango and the farmer. Okay? The Eshu would pass in between the way we are seated. They will be arguing, wearing red, wearing black. As we are arguing, arguing, he comes. We are in red, we are in black, we start arguing again. No, no, you are right. This man who passed here before, he was, he said, no, 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 you are wrong. He was, so you start fighting. This is exactly our constitution. It has become issue, the confuse of men. Lawyers are confused. What's the way forward? Uh, civil society are confused. Musicians are confused. Cadres are confused. But it should, not, it are should confused. not be so. Judges are also it should not be uh, so. You know, interpreting the the way. We, what yes. is what is causing the confusion? It's the vested interest, depending on whether we see a glass half full or half empty. Oh. McDonald and Gears has an interest yeah. that they believe yes. Rosambo is not yes. eligible, yeah. so they will fight it yeah. using the same constitution yeah. Yeah. to yeah. the latter. Yeah. The PF as the petitioners will fight it. Yeah. The state and the UPND. Yes. So it's, it's all about vested interest and not the citizen. No, not, not is the, this about the people of Kwacha and Kabushi? No, not always invested interest. The invested interest is to strengthen the law. Mm. You see, the challenge that we have had for a long time is that our constitutions, our laws have never been tested. Mm. I'm very happy this time because the constitution has become topical. Everyone is going to the constitutional court for interpretation. That to me is a great, great achievement ever from a civic point of view. Because now people understand their right. People now say, no, 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 no. This, what does it mean? They will go to court. They may not agree with the decision of the court. But the court would have given. Like in this case of Malange and what, we know now that uh, they are eligible by the court ruling. We can't do away with it. We can't de de deny that. It's, it's done. It's done. The next thing is now to say, how do we ensure that in the, in the future, those who are found committing corruption and have no legal document to get where they're supposed to get should be punished. That's all. On Saturday, the Court of Appeals was handling the election petition of the same matter and have reasoned that the petitioners are rightly before the court. Do you see us heading, you know, towards a constitutional crisis of having, you know, a by-election within 90 days? Well, we, we have already uh, uh, eaten uh, 30 days of the 90 days. If we put 30 days of petitioning, which is 7 plus 21, okay, uh, it means that we would have taken 60 days. We we'll still remain 30 days of the elections. So whichever way, we still have enough time to hold the elections. Because these elections, even 10 days to the 90 days, elections can be held. Even a day to the, ele to the 90 days, it can be held. So we still have enough time. Almost 40 days remaining. In the current status quo, since you're saying the court has ruled that the two candidates are eligible or mm. nullification does not amount to disqualification, mm. Mm. should the ECZ accept their nomination papers? Unless the court orders for new nominations. Mm. Without an order for new nominations, the ECZ will continue the current nomination. Not even on the basis that 
once that resignation or withdrawal of an independent candidate no. causes an election? They, they will go ahead with that. Because right now, mind you, this is the first time in the history of our electoral democracy where election <laughs> duly nominated, duly nominational process has been halted by the court. This is the first time. And this is a wrong precedence altogether. Because in the Constitution, we put safeguards. One, you challenge somebody at nomination. If you fail to challenge somebody at nomination, you, you challenge someone at outcome level. Now, if we have now the court putting spanners to the ECZ process on the way, then a constitutional crisis is going soon or later. Even the general election, you hear the court says, no, you cannot hold the general election. We have voted. We have stayed it. Just imagine what crisis you'll be in. So of some course, of these things... Of course, that is very capable of in, in Article 52.6. Yes. So, so in this case, what I'm saying is that the Constitution in Article 52.4 is very clear. You only challenge a duly nominated candidate. Not a duly rejected candidate. Mm. He has no right to go let, let, and let's, start let's, challenging let, let's, nomination. Let's quickly, as we conclude, touch two other you know, thorny issues around the Constitution. Although being a protected you know, constitutional office, the director of public prosecution position right now with mm. Lillian you know, Flata Siunia appears unstable. Um, mm -hmm. She's been suspended as of last week by President Hichilema. The thorny issues around that is that she did not appear. Again, I go to that mm -hmm. issue of the rules mm -hmm. of natural mm -hmm. justice. Mm -hmm. Yourself being presented, the mm -hmm. JCC heard mm -hmm. the matter in absentia. Mm -hmm. President given a report, he moves mm -hmm. to suspend. Mm -hmm. Don't you see this whole matter being prejudicial? Because at one of his first press conferences, the president made it very clear that, that she had misconducted herself and only God will help her. Look, uh, with, for me, with the, 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 uh, the JCC and the DPP saga, I can call it a saga or comedy or drama, is that uh, the rules are very clear. The law is very clear. Article 180, 182, 143, 144 <coughs> is very clear. The removal of the DPP is as you remove the judge. judge. Okay? And in this case, there is JCC, where a complaint was given. And the JCC's role is to give chance to the accused to appear either in person or through the attorney. And I think that was done by the JCC. They called the, the DPP, please, you, are, you, you, you come and defend yourself. She says, no, I cannot defend myself unless the appointing authority lifts my oath of uh, secrecy. Then they, she wrote, the they, 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 they JCC, even given her time, I think it was suspended. And that matter again on her they appearance wrote before her, the court. They wrote her, eh, they wrote, they, she wrote, her to, she wrote to, the, to the president, the president through the attorney general responded to say, no, 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 that will not do. You go ahead and say whatever you want to say there. After all, the issue of the JCC and, and all its dealings are in camera. There's no media there. So you can say whatever. You know that if it comes out, it's either myself, my lawyer, and the JCC themselves, and the defendants, lawyers. Those could be the ones that will come, bring out of those things. So now, Costa, you'll be given a chance. This is where we, we had also, when you read the Malangi ju judgment, you will bring your certificate you but, don't bring. But, 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 you, but you again, when you talk about yourself. the DPP matter, she challenged this aspect of lifting her veil or, or oath of secrecy before the court, and the JCC ignored that. But, but still, even from a human rights mm. perspective, mm. this is a constitution and sensitive mm. office mm. holder. Mm. Does it not worry you from civil society that amid these investigations or hearings, security is withdrawn, and the life of a person in such a constitutional office is under threat. Well, for, for withdrawing before suspension, I think that was wrong. If the security was withdrawn before she was suspended, even now when she's suspended, I think it's just a few things that have been 
uh, uh, withdrawn from her. Well, she's still history, history shows us that the three previous job holders who have left the position as a new president comes into office have never, you know, gone back. From, you know, <laughs> President Levi Mwanawasa yeah, yeah, yeah. and Mukelabai, yeah, Mukelabai, yeah, 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 yeah. even if the tribunal cleared him, Correct. that did not work. That yeah. is how State Council Mutembon Chito came in. Mm. Lillian Suni herself mm. took over mm. from mm. Uh, Mutembon Mutembo Chito, Chito yeah. who was suspended yes. by President yes. Edgar Lungu. Yes. So even if our constitution rightfully so states that that a DPP will be protected. Mm. Every new president wants their own no, DPP. I, I actually, actually, to tell you the truth, DPP is not protected. DPP is serving at the pleasure of the appointing of Who is the president? Who is the president? So what should we be doing to so secure tenure? So what we need now is to change the law because the challenge that we have with DPP, Attorney General, Solicitor General, and... Uh, I think uh, the clerk of the National Assembly. These are identified by the sitting president. Okay? And they serve at the pressure of the sitting president. Immediately, the, 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 pres the sitting president has lost power or dies or indeed uh, expires, uh, you know, resigns. Those people's tenure there. Is, is not guaranteed. Hence giving the presidency so why, much this hence, is why, hence giving the presidency so much power. Yes, yes. And this is what Zambians have always exactly. argued that we need to strip the exactly. presidency. Exactly. Why don't we do this? And this is why, if you remember in 2015 when Michael Sata died, you saw Mwenya Msenga, Mwenye Musa Mwenya, being chased out of the office. Some part. Okay? I think even the Solicitor General was, was thrown out. So you, you, you have this thing. So what we need, like you've said, the power of the president in this constitution is just so enormous. Because even when you look at uh, Article 93, eh, I think uh, the, 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 the DPP raised it to say, no, it should be in writing. The president can take a, 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 what, a, a measure in parliament. Okay? And if parliament three times is rejecting, the president mm. is given express power to proceed. So, so the UPND now, through Justice Minister and the president himself, are talking about legal reforms, and obviously they also want a bite mm. of this constitutional cherry. Mm. Do you see this happening? If so, before 2026, if it has to happen, how should it happen? Where are the urgent areas? And what makes the UPND, again, the right fit? Because we've had the PF, we've had the MMD, we've had UNIP. So who should give us this constitution that will stand the test Surely, of time. This constitution that we have right now is a progressive constitution. All we need is to take away areas of controversy that we have tested and found that we have no solution to it. Like Article 52, uh, sub-Article 6. Okay? We can remove that and, 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 and leave the whole article where you can challenge and so on and so forth. And, and make, maybe panel beat it a bit so that it is very clear. Secondly, we have to go into the issue of the Bill of Rights. Okay? Right now there's the issue of uh, death penalty. People are saying that we can remove death penalty from other statutes. But the Constitution under Article 12 still maintains that death penalty remains. So even if you remove them from uh, the Defense Act, you remove it from uh, the Penal Code, but Constitution will still spell out that you can be sentenced to death by an act of by, 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 by a decision of the court. And also, if you are a criminal, you are running away, you, the, the, the police, the security forces have the right to kill you. If you are involved in mutiny, in insurrection, the, 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 the security can kill you. Okay? So the death penalty will not end. So we need the referendum. Now, why is perhaps the UPND is the best? One, they oppose the referendum. We oppose together referendum. And they oppose Bill 10. And we oppose the Bill 10 together. Which was okay? trying to repeal Article, Article 52. Yes, which was a wrong, uh, a wrong approach or to repeal <laughs> the entire thing. Now, why they are the right thing? Remember. So, that what, so what would be the right way? The right way now is to hold a referendum. And this referendum, why I see that is uh, UPN, while they still have this goodwill from other donors and from other uh, cooperating partners, is to call for a, ref a national referendum on the whole constitution. Why? It's because, look, we, two years. Only part three needs a referendum. Yes, of course, but we can do a new mm. constitution. That will be 
that, but, but, but the current legal process obviously will still maintain that on behalf of the people, whatever submissions have to go to Parliament, of course, uh, other than part three. Of course. So, of so, course. So, so, so how do you think, that's why I asked, you've agreed that yes. the constitution needs amendments. And the, the, so the process now, how? Because you still have the PF with 52, 54 members. No, that, that, and, and they're not seeing, certainly because we've always gone partisan lines. No, 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 no you, I, I don't the, think the so. The PF will not vote I, with the UPND on this. That, that's, that's, that's not a, a, true, a, a true picture. Actually, a number of these PF guys, uh, MPs, they are for this. You are issue. not in parliament, so no, you no, cannot. No, I, you can, you most cannot of say, them are contemporary. You, you cannot say. Talk that. about Kampiongo. He's not my friend. Mm. He co confessed on one of the radio stations, mm. TV. McDonald is my colleague. I will confess him. <laughs> <laughs> but now, I wanted just to say mm. that why we need the referendum now. The way the donors have helped us with the census that has delayed for two years because under the law we are supposed to hold census every ten years. We are now the 12th year without uh, uh, you know, official data. Now, even this constitution, we may just need the same amount as... Uh, uh, sh should we not be ashamed that 57 years of independence, we cannot, just like the preamble yes. of the constitution yes. says, that we, we the give ourselves a constitution. Yes. We, we shouldn't be depending on donors. We oh, need to course. do the right thing of in course. a locally driven process. Of course. Actually, for me, I'm, 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 I'm even ashamed that even the elections are donor-driven. You elect your leaders through the donor money. How Now we have IMF. It's the one that is sustaining our budgets, that will sustain our budget. Why? It's because of our recklessness in the past. And we must stop that recklessness. This issue of wanting to have a fatty a wallet all the time, even when you have not worked for it, I think must come to an end. Then we can have our own referendum. We can have, hold elections based on our own resources. Then we shall, you know, deal away with the issue of saying, no, he's been supported by imperialists. No, he's supported by the socialists. Nothing. Because we shall make sure that if it's one million that we need for elections, we shall raise that one million from our local resource. But then we shall have independent leaders that are not puppets of any regime or any uh, 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 country. Madrona Gipezi, thank you so much. Thank you. For talking to me thank tonight you so much. on Costa. That wraps up our topic of discussion this evening, Zambia's constitution, good or bad. My guest, electoral expert, Madrona Gipezi, is also executive director of Gears. Remember that this program is exclusive on YouTube. It's Diamond TV Zambia. Remember also to catch an exclusive repeat on DSTV 271, Go TV 99 and 110 on top. So tomorrow morning at 9. Thank you so much. God bless and good night. was brought to you by FQM Trident Limited, a subsidiary of First Quantum Minerals Limited.